I would tuck you in. If you were an octopus, I would grow eight arms to hold you. To avoid predators, the common octopus can lose an arm and regrow it later on. If you were a brown bear, I would snuggle next to you all winter long. To bulk up for their winter sleep, brown bears may eat as much as 90 pounds of food per day. If you were a little brown bat, I would find you on the darkest of nights. The little brown bat uses sound at night to find its way in the dark and capture mosquitoes to eat. If you were a rofus hummingbird, my heart would beat a thousand times per minute for you. Hummingbirds are the smallest birds in the world, but their hearts can beat up to 1,500 times per minute. If you were a porcupine, I would still want to hold you close. Porcupines protect themselves with their 30,000 quills, but unlike what some people think, they can't shoot them at predators. If you were a bowhead whale, I would break through Arctic ice to find you. To create a breathing hole, bowhead whales can break through ice that is 12 inches thick. Wow. If you were an Arctic tern, I would fly to the ends of the earth with you. Arctic terns have the longest migration route of all birds, sometimes traveling all the way from the North Pole to the South Pole. If you were a caribou, I would hear you coming from miles and miles away with a clickety-click-click. Caribou migrate thousands of miles in large herds and produce a clicking sound when they walk. If you were a humpback whale, I would sing a song to soothe you. Because humpback whales don't have vocal cords, the songs that they sing come from pressing air through their nasal passage. If you were a muskox, I would huddle close to you and keep you warm. Musk oxen conserve heat by clustering together when it is cold and windy. If you were a boreal owl, I would stay up all night and tell you stories. Boreal owls are nocturnal, which means that they sleep during the day and look for food at night. If you were a walrus, I would carry you on my back while swimming in the sea. Walrus calves will frequently ride on their mother's backs while swimming and while on land. If you were a sea otter, I would tuck you into a kelp forest bed. Sea otters rest in kelp beds, wrapping themselves up in the seaweed ribbons to keep from floating away. If you were a snowshoe hare, I would change my colors to play hide-and-seek with you. Snowshoe hares change from brown in the summer to white in the winter for camouflage to blend in with their surroundings. If you were a hermit crab, I would watch you grow into each new home you found. Hermit crabs live in abandoned snail shells, and find bigger and bigger homes to live in as they grow. But no matter what, I will always love you for who you are. And that was, I would tuck you in. 
hope you enjoyed it.